Hey, hey everyone, Andrew here. So, so sorry that I totally ignored this class, but I was just super busy preparing for my work to open. I work with non-local toddler kids, uh, toddler autistic kids, um, and applying to grad schools, which I got in. So, yeah. Um, today, we're going to have a chat about the second pillar of Hellenismos. Now, remember last week we talked about arete, which is excellence. Um, I also explained how it isn't really known if Hellenismos had named pillars in the Hellenic era because Hellenismos itself wasn't even named at the time. Uh, we did that later, so it's but it's the term used now, so that's what we will use here: the pillars. Um, the second pillar, which we're talking about today, is Eusebia. Now, of course, when I hear the word Eusebia, I think of this. That symbol is Cibola. It's Cibola. The city of gold. Um, Eusebia is actually probably one of the more simple concepts to explain, but there are so many options on how to follow that pillar, that it makes it seem like a lot. So Eusebia, in a nutshell, is giving reverence to the gods of Greece. Now, how can we give reverence? And honestly, what does reverence even mean? Reverence means deep respect for someone or something. So how do we show deep respect for the gods? One would be prayer. Uh, others are rituals and offerings. Taking part in festivals and holidays. Uh, basically, all those things that make you feel good and help you feel connected to the gods, that is Eusebia. Now, if you don't know what to do for the gods because you're super new and don't want to sit there like, uh, hey, gods of Greece, good morning. I'm trying to practice Eusebia now, so don't smite me, maybe? Thanks, and have a good day. <laughs> Yeah, I totally get it. I've been there. Uh, so I'm going to tell you that I totally stole the morning and evening routine that I use from E. Cauldron when I first started Hellenismos. Now, obviously you don't need to do them every morning and night. I certainly don't. That is not something that I do. And if you can't do it every morning, like me, do it when you know your day is going to be difficult. A lot of us have that intuition and we can wake up and be like, something's going to happen at work. I know it. There's going to be traffic and I'm going to be in a bad mood when whatever's happening at work happens. And this is just not going to be a good day. Oh, no. Yeah, when you need that extra support to, for your day, that's when you should do the morning ritual. Um, now, I prefer the nighttime ritual because I have night terrors and I do take medicine for them, but sometimes they come through. And before I got the medicine I needed, I would perform this after a night terror to help me go back to sleep. And sometimes when... I knew that I needed to be fully rested the next day. I would do it before to try and prevent a night terror from happening. Now, here's the thing. My tip of the day. You can shorten these. I more often just say the hypnos and thanatos prayer at night rather than doing the full ritual. And you don't even have to use these prayers, which... The prayers I'm talking about are the Homeric and Orphic hymns, uh, whichever one you prefer. And I, because I totally get that they're long, 
some people don't like reading a script when they're doing a ritual. Some people are just like, this feels unnatural coming out of my mouth. Um, but the thing is, is that if you're new to Hellenismos, these prayers are a fantastic way to start that communication and open a relationship. That way, when you're ready, you can just speak from the heart. For those of you who are auditory learners like me, I'm going to make two more videos to post today, one of the morning ritual and one of the night ritual, so you can just play it when you need it. And also, that way, maybe you can memorize them, which I have not, so if you memorize them, you are my new favorite person, and please comment, because maybe I'll, like, send you like a reward for being able to memorize these because that is intense. Um, but yeah, then like you can, I'm, I'm going to make it so that it's like in PowerPoint where you have on the screen the words and I'll just do a voiceover for um, reading them. Um, but yeah, have an awesome week. I'll see you guys next Tuesday.